Good evening. Good evening, everyone. I'll never forget the moment. I was 12 years old at home, watching television on a rainy Sunday afternoon, and they were showing John Ford's The Quiet Man. It was the scene where John Wayne is in a horse-drawn buggy being driven by Barry Fitzgerald, coming home to the land of his birth, Ireland. And he sees Maureen O'Hara across a field surrounded by sheep. The first time the Dukes, Sean Thornton, saw her in the film was also the first moment I laid eyes on her. His character had never seen beauty like that, and neither had I. I don't think a romantic leading lady has ever been introduced on film by a director to such stunning effect. It still gives me goosebumps whenever I see it. For anyone anywhere around the world who loves movies, she is more than simply an Irish movie star. She is one of the true legends of cinema, a woman whose skill and range of talent is unsurpassed. She is one of the most adventurous women who ever lived. She loved to fly in a seaplane with her aviator husband, Charles, and she was the first woman president of a scheduled airline in the United States. She is a self-described lifelong tomboy who was a pioneer in doing her own stunts in film after film, mastering complex fencing and fighting routines. She made westerns and musicals, movies based on Christmas and ones based on literary classics, comedies and dramas. And in every film, her eyes were riveted to her every moment she was on the silver screen. She started in black and white films and later became the queen of Technicolor, leaving us mesmerized not just by her performances, but by her fiery red hair and her gorgeous green eyes. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Just get lost thinking about my first crush again. And Maureen O'Hara did more than just fascinate me. She enthralled and enchanted every leading actor and director of her era, from Henry Fonda to John Ford to Jimmy Stewart to John Wayne, with whom she made five movies. For the, entire, for the entire Academy, tonight is the chance to present her with an honor richly deserved. For me, it's a chance to thank her for giving hope to a kid from the town of Ballymena, County Antrim, that maybe one day he too could end up in motion pictures. And it's a chance to say to the woman who has long had a place in my heart, and in the heart of everyone from Orr Island, 6,000 miles across the sea. I love you, Maureen. We all do. Congratulations.